tutorial, we're going to be talking about three-dimensional lists. Now, I know the last section was about two-dimensional lists, and I'm not going to go over every possible scenario. I'm not going to go over four-dimensional lists, five-dimensional lists, six-dimensional lists, but I wanted to make this video just to show you that two-dimensional lists isn't as far as you can go. You can also go farther, because lists can contain more lists. And so, in our code, we can have a three... Let's call it 3D list. Um, and this is equal to, you know, first of all, we, we had our first list, which is 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9. And so this is a 2D list, right? But a 3D list would be lists inside lists inside lists. And you can go further than that if you wanted. And so I just made this video to show you that you're not only limited to 2D lists. But, um, you can't write this like how we did last time with the grid, because you can't, we don't have 3D screens, so we can't write that like that exactly. We could still actually do the enter, but you'd still have lists inside lists in that manner. And so, here we will still have a list. This will be a list, this will be a list, this will be a list. And so, let's create a list inside here. This is containing a list that has 1.0 um, and then 1.5. This will be a list containing 2.0 and 2.5. And just like that one, we'll do 3.0 and 3.5. And I'll do the same for this. And actually, I'm not going to do it for the last one, because you understand what I'm trying to show you. Okay, so here we have a 3D list. And if we wanted to refer to, let's say... 3.5 right right here well we would do 3d list and we would index okay well this is index 0 so we'll start with 0 and then we have to index the third item inside that list so that's index 2 so we go index 2 and then we have another index because there's indices inside these so this time we'll do index 1 because this is the index 1 right there and here we will get 3.5 and this does have use. Um, it's not only just for tutorial like I'm showing you right now. This has use in very complicated data structures. But this video, um, you're not, you don't, I'm not expecting you to remember exactly how to use 3D lists and um, always practice using 3D lists. 2D lists are enough. If you know how to access things in 2D lists, you know how to access things in 3D lists. But inside 3D lists, I just wanted to show you that however many lists you have, that'll be how many indices that you are referencing. And so now let's index um, 5.0. So we'll go um, into the index 1. And then inside there, we have index 1 as well. And then this one has index 0. And there we get 5.0. So like I said, you don't have to learn about 3D lists and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show you. However, something I do want to show you is that when you have... Actually, let's just make this a 2D list because, uh, like I said, that's enough. So we'll do a 2D list. This will be 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3. And this will be 4, 5, 6. And then in the next item, actually, you know what? Let's, let's do 5, 6, 7. Because what I'm trying to show you is we can actually have 4. And so now we have a list, a number, and then a list. And so when you have a 2D list, um, it doesn't have to be only lists. Lists in Python don't have to only have one data type. When you have a list inside a list, that doesn't mean all the rest of the items have to be like that. Unlike in Java, for example, you have to have the same data type in an array. But in this case, you don't really have to in Python. Um, you don't have to have a list after this, right? And so when you want to index this, you actually don't need to have two Right, so if we did um, 2D list, if you want to index 2 right here, for example, we'll just do 0, and then we'll index the second item, which is 1, and there we get 2. But if we wanted to index this, this would actually be 1. And if you actually try to index any of these, like 0, you'll get an error, because there's nothing there. You don't have another index. There we go. This is only for indexing something inside a list, because whenever you even just have an index, it's saying 
Okay, well, whatever the list to the right of this is, we'll get the index of this. And so when you have another index, all that's saying is, let's look to the right of this. Oh, it looks like we have a list that's indexing one, so let's do that. And so in this case, we would only just have one because there's nothing else. So if that was a little confusing, all I'm trying to say is you can have multiple data types in your list, but if you have a list and not a list, you just index it normally, and with a list, then you'd index it with two.